Famous, very famous. What do they call this? And I thought I wanted money. I could find Ooh, it. Do you like a In the meantime, let's go have some fun. <laughs> Love you. Be safe. Good morning, family friends. Amber here. It is Super Bowl Sunday. So Sunday family dinners have become a bit of a, a favorite. And so we thought we would take this Sunday and uh, have a little bit of a Super Bowl spread. Well, we're not a huge football family. I am certainly a once a year fan. I love the Super Bowl. I love the halftime show. I had to ask Alexa this morning who was actually playing in the Super Bowl. So not the biggest football fan, but I did I did know Rihanna was doing the, <laughs> the halftime show. Anyways, we're going to do uh, some of our favorites and some of our um, Super Bowl treats and things. So come along for some family fun. We're going to have a full house today. Eli is going to do his very, very best to help with grandma. It's gonna be a special day. Grandma's coming down for Sunday dinner. She wasn't able to attend the wedding, so Mitch and Nicole have got the professional video, <laughs> the professional video that was rendered by the videographer at the resort, so they're gonna share that with her today. Yeah, so we're gonna try and do our very best to make her as comfortable as we can. She has not been coming around only because we have so many stairs and it's really hard for her to navigate getting up, and especially with as, as much snow and as, as much of the, the winter that we've had here, so it's not really safe either. So we're gonna to go ahead and try and hopefully get her in and get her comfortable and be able to have uh, a nice afternoon. Here's hoping, but what's on the menu? We're gonna do a vegetarian chili and we're gonna do a we're gonna do a buffalo chicken dip that the boys have loved and we've been making this dip for about 10 years. It's a simple it's a simple recipe. It's from the craft craft website. It's just simply just spicy buffalo chicken dip. So it's really good and it's always been asked for. What else have I got on? I got a charcuterie board with lots of salamis and cheeses and treats and I'm gonna I'm actually in the process right now of just starting my uh, banana bread. Daxton loves to mush that so I was gonna wait for him to come and help me with that. But yes, yeah, so we're gonna have a full house. It's gonna be a lot um, in this small space with all of the kids and all of the dogs but it's absolutely the way that I would love to spend my day. They'll be here shortly so I'm gonna just continue cleaning up my kitchen, my space, and get ready for some festivities. Sorry, for those of you that are new here, welcome, thank you so much for tuning in. But I was just sharing a minute ago about have it, having grandma here and having her up the stairs. She just had a traumatic surgery last year where she lost one of her legs. So unfortunately, getting up and down stairs and things like that, she hasn't been given her prosthetic yet. She's still in therapy for that and trying to heal up from the surgery. So we're hoping that come summertime, we'll be able to have a limb and it'll be a little easier for her to navigate the stairs. But until then, we have to kind of lift and try to figure out alternative ways to get her up. Um, until then, that's kind of what we have to do and we have to resort to. So fingers crossed it all works out. She just is a little uncomfortable trying to have people carry her and it's not something she likes. She's kind of not been coming here as much as she used to and it breaks my heart a little bit. So we're really excited that she's gonna be joining us. We got grandma home. We got her in. Thank goodness to this man. <laughs> He's, he's figured it out. We're trying to keep this lunatic off of her. You're such a good girl. When are you going to become a good girl like her? Not likely. She was a real mother for the first time. Oh, and your turn's coming. Oh, I know. You're so good. Yeah, you're so Sit. What eyes, big dreams. Oh my gosh, can you hear him? <laughs> He is my little sous chef. We are preparing our buffalo chicken dip. Frank gets to have this once a year. We usually only prepare this on Super Bowl. We've been doing this for about 10 years. We just get a rotisserie chicken. I find it's easier than, than cooking chicken and using it for the recipe. So I'll throw the recipe down below. But it Grandma's fragile. You can't be jumping up on her like that. Go on. Th no, he didn't want to go out. He wanted chicken. He had nothing, no interest in going out. He just wanted chicken. Buffalo chicken dip. Buffalo chicken... What'd you say? <laughs> Buffalo chicken dip. Buffalo chicken dip. From recipes from from Kraft. Just Google this it. This is a recipe from Frank Hanlon. Kraft actually set me up with this and it's a little bit of a spicy kick to it. So we're gonna do, we're gonna break a cream cheese. We're gonna do a half a cup of Frank's Red okay. Hot. We're gonna half a cup of that. Then we have a half a cup of blue cheese dress. Very important that it's blue cheese. Go, so we're gonna half a cup of that. Yeah. And then you have a half a cup of ranch. So I, I have a, a secret ingredient that I like to put in, which is called another little bit of French Red Hot. Actually, this is all the liquids. <laughs> I forgot you're a lefty. That ain't a very good shot. <laughs> Mitch 
Mitchell and Nicole are making homemade jala poppers. <laughs> Jalapeno poppers. Oh my god, they look huge. They're ginormous. Yeah. They're like a meal. I think you're gonna. Whole, is there a whole jalapeno in each one of those? We have to separate yes. which ones are spicy, which ones aren't. Put we them on a separate. Are you able to see the popper in it? No, it's like jalapeno wrapped bacon. The inside is what's spicy because it's jalapeno jelly inside of it. Wow. He's making this one with black cherry and one with jalapeno. Have you ever seen jalapenos that size? Yeah, they're quite big. What kind of cheese is that that you're putting inside of it, Mitchell? Big brie. And then you've got a jalapeno jelly. And then Uncle Joe's rub on top. All right. Probably the middle shelf, eh? Yeah. <laughs> They're hot. They just came out. You can't even know. Oh, that's a good pile of chili. Oh, oh yeah. This is my chili. So I got two cans of kidneys, just regular brown beans, and two cans of diced tomatoes. Chop this up. I've already got in here my garlic, my onions, and my meat. And that will be the chili. These have been drained and rinsed. You don't have to do that with your tomatoes or with your brown beans, though. onions. Does everybody else cry when they chop onions? Do I have black eyes? I cannot wait to start my garden. The red peppers. Frank just went to the grocery store for me and grabbed these. Five dollars and fifty cents for two. I love red peppers but they do something to my tummy. But when they're cooked they don't seem to have that same issue. There's a lot of different options for spices but I honestly this has been it just says dehydrated stuff so it's spices and herbs and things like that so I think it's just fine. So I put two packs in a big chili like this. These little shaker balls kind of take away all of the clumps and lumps. Add a little water and... There's no way you're going to even make it to halftime show, are you? A little visit. Banana bread, do you like it? Is it good? Do you like it? Cheese! Cheese! Oh, Jackson Bow! That's too much, baby! And now, just how aggressive is Nick Sirianni? Is that too dark? Yeah. Super Bowl was a bit of a success and a failure. In is success in the fact that we had the whole family together, including my mom, which was there, and it was a beautiful day. Sadly, we canceled our cable probably a year ago, and so we didn't have cable, but we had the fire stick, and we thought for sure, Frank has an app that he thought for sure he could get the Super Bowl onto the, the TV. However, we had some complications. The technology family was able to figure it out, and we were able to get on, and we were only able to get on until about the halftime show, So, which is kind of what we wanted to watch anyways, let's be real. Um, I'm a, I'm a once-a-year football fan, and that's usually because of the halftime show, so Riri, Rihanna, did a great job, and the, the game was great. Unfortunately, we started having complications with the technology and the, the app that we were using after the halftime show, which kind of seemed interesting, but anyways, we ended up losing it, so Frank wasn't able to watch the end of the game. He had to watch of, of his phone, so... He was pretty upset, but you know what? At the end of the day, we still got to see the game and what a game it was. It was back and forth all night. It was a great game. So um, anyway, we are off today to do some skiing with Eli. So I was voluntold that I was coming to do this today. So you're doing skiing with his school. How many of you have done that? I never got to go because that cost money, <laughs> um, unfortunately. So I never was able to, you know, do that kind of stuff. But I ended up um, being able to do this with Eli today. So I'm looking forward to it. I myself am not going to be skiing only because I'm right now currently suffering from pneumonia and I don't feel that great. So don't want to be on the slopes and make this worse. So I'm just going to sit in the chalet, do some work, maybe do some chatting with some of the mamas. We made it. Are we excited? Is <coughs> Come on guys, this is going to be fun. Alright, lighten up your attention, have a seat. What's up? 
guys, we're over here at School Field Trip. We're at Horseshoe Valley Ski Resort and we're ready to hit the slopes. What were we told? The conditions are icy, so very it's icy. very icy. The, the weather's been really terrible. So it's not raining now. It rained all day yesterday. But today, we're good. You see. No, I won't let you down. I'll give it all I got. I'll give you What did you get? Did I you got get a, a black? Total but what did you do wrong? I I was supposed to go in and out, but I just went in and out of the red. I was supposed to go in and out of the blue, but I only did the red. Oh, you just didn't listen to instructions. Uh, he never gave us any instructions. No, he didn't. He just said go up there and go down. <laughs> yeah. So that's what you did, and you got a black at least. So that means you can ski freely. I can ride any hill I want. Okay. I can't do the jumps though. No. I wasn't expecting to do No. That. In the meantime, let's go have some fun. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Be safe. on before we got in the car but he's like no it's good I'll do it when I get there do you regret that decision <laughs> <laughs> work smart not hard do you know what that means <laughs> how much easier would this have been if you had done them at home <laughs> a little, <laughs> a little. <laughs> not what you want because then you're gonna have cold feet I just like I love how these life lessons come to be because they just refuse to listen to mama like I'm just hot air or something and I don't actually know what I'm talking about why is not your car taller try to teach these kiddos they just they think they know better all right guys let's go I think that's today's workout done <laughs> He hasn't even hit the slope yet. He had so much fun skiing the other day. We lost battery. We weren't able to finish up our vlogging from um, Horseshoe, but here we are at our local ski club. We're going to go to Hockley for the day. Hmm. So let's go see if we can <laughs> help him with his boots. Mm, do you want to do, do, you wanna do the, the, those up when you get down there? How bad do you think Ethan's going to be that he finds something using his boots? Sorry, Ethan. I don't have any boots. You're a great brother. Your great brother. This is the this is a young man who's he grew three boot sizes from the last time he went skiing. It's a process. Could you imagine when mommy and daddy used to do this with three boys? Three littles? Okay, get those gloves on, Betty. Put them on. Tell everybody what you do there to your skis and your poles so it's easier to carry. He hooks the the handle of the one basket onto the skis and the handle of the other and just 
levels it out. It's easier to carry like that. I learned that when they were Rachel was little. Heading down here. Oh my god, the wind. Every time I try to vlog, it starts to wake up, so hopefully it's not too bad. We've been skiing as a family uh, since Mitchell was about three. We had him on the hills very young, very early. It was a family sport that we wanted to do. Frank was able to teach them all because he was a really good skier. Myself, not so much because this was not something that our family could ever afford. So I needed to learn how to ski as an adult, and let me tell you, your resilience and your fear is a lot more great. Listen, in order for you to turn, you need to be going faster. You need to be going like it's kind of like that that metaphor in life. Like you can't, the, the slower you go, the harder it is. So, oh, hey. <laughs> gotcha. Hey. How was that first run? My face is cold. Oh, your face is cold. It's a lot colder out here than you thought, eh? Oops, I'm stepping on your skis. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm going to head into the chalet and have some hot chocolate. Maybe a coffee. Maybe a cafe. Mocha. How are the runs? Are they icy? Or is it good? They did really good. They did, they groomed it really well? Yeah. It's good, so. Uh, better than the horseshoe. Oh yeah? Less ice. Less ice. Less ice. White eyes, big dreams, made from all them memories. I only want to make you proud. Break my fall before I land and hold my heart here in your hands. Promise you'll always be around. When the sea. It's a little warmer in here. It's a little quieter too, probably. Um, our skill set was very different, mine and Frank. So Frank was skilled enough to be able to teach the kids how to ski. However, he could not teach me how to ski. I needed to take some lessons. And I did those lessons here at Hockley Valley. It was a really great ski school. I did the eight-week lesson here, and it was really good, but by about week three, I was very clear to me that I didn't need a ski instructor. I needed to shrink to learn how to overcome my fear of falling because I was a mama with three little boys that it was very concerning to me that I would get injured and I just couldn't afford to get hurt. So I wanted to learn how to ski with the kids. By that point, they were out skiing me and they were going down the hills faster than me. They had no fear and no, um, me on the other hand, it took me a long time to, to feel confident on my skis. Skiing has become extremely expensive. And so we're fortunate that we have gotten equipment throughout the lifespan of all the kids that Eli's able to kind of progressively get into each one of those. But he is now into the largest pair of boots we own and he's well and the largest pair of skis that we own so he may very well outgrow his big brothers and so hopefully uh, of course we can he's right now wearing ethan skis thanks ethan <laughs> uh, without permission but uh his his boots sorry his boots his, he's grown so big and unfortunately that's just the progression of what happens is um thank goodness we've only got one in it now because honestly i don't know how you can afford it because the prices have gone up so much 
just a simple lift ticket price is just astronomical. So to, to get a family of five out here on the slopes, I'm glad we did it 23 years ago. It's, um, it's still something that I love to do. Unfortunately, Frank's knees are so bad that he's no longer able to ski. I feel terrible that I'm not out there with Eli today, um, but I've got pneumonia and I don't want to get it uh, get it worse. So I want to start to, to feel that I'm just starting to feel better. So I don't want to make it worse by hitting the slopes and, and doing that, but it'll be fun. I don't know how we're going to get a crowd of people here coming through, so it's going to get loud in a minute. Okay, it passed. I just feel like there's very few sports that you can do as a family unit, but um, I did a video before last year on this, but I'll, I'll link it again in the show notes to do with the snow pass, and you can get the snow pass here in Ontario for grades four and five, and you can get that get free ski passes for several different Ontario uh, resorts. So it's really worth it. If you, I, I did it with all of my boys, but it is a really great way to get them. And if they have never tried skiing before, get them into the sport to see whether or not it's something that they like to do. This has been a great family day weekend. We're gonna have the family over again tomorrow for Sunday night dinner. Well, tomorrow, this weekend is family day here in Ontario and enjoying time together. The kids are going to getting older and they may not be able to, to be around. So until then, I'm going to, uh, to appreciate these times that we have together and enjoy family day and Sunday dinners as often as we can. So thanks so much again for tuning in and, and enjoying this vlog and kind of a sneak peek into our life. And I said, somebody had asked me why I do these. And I just wanted to share that it was just kind of my love letter to my family and just recognizing that long, long after I leave this earth, that it's going to be a, a legacy that I can leave behind and for the boys to reflect on and just kind of as a, as a bit of a keepsake, a love letter, a journal, something for them to look back on and all of the fun that we had. That is my why. Some people do journals, some people do photo books, some people do albums, but I think that a video is a really great reflection of a, a life well lived. I'm trying to find creative ways that we can do this on a budget. Stick around and hopefully we'll have some more exciting trips and things like that that we can, we can share with you all. But in the meantime, thanks so much for hanging out. Until next time, stay safe and keep living. <laughs> I'm just chuckling because this little one it's about how little Mitchell was when he first started skiing. <laughs> little, we'll have Daxton on ski soon, won't we? Used to our people to love, so I learned how to sing. Then I thought I wanted money. It's exhausting, isn't it? Well, after six hours, yeah. <laughs> you need to go home, I'm pretty exhausted. I got to even ski. <laughs> it's pretty tired. Can we go? Saying I want peace is where I am now. It's the only thing I haven't found somehow. There are other places, there are a million pretty faces.